Guys, let's uh, welcome Max Middleman, who is in One Punch Man, in Spider-Man, Persona 5, Thundercats Roar, which I have funny stories about, and Miraculous Ladybug, Legends of Runeterra, Fire Emblem, and so much more. Welcome. Thank you. One Punch Man is probably your biggest thing right now, right? Because it's just um, such a world, worldwide phenomenon. As far as what people know me from, yeah, One Punch Man, I would say, and uh, Persona 5 is another big one. Um, those are like the two biggies that people usually recognize me from. And, and at cons, is that what you go for? Or it's like a slew of like all the things? It's kind of everything. Um, I mean, you know, I'm fortunate enough to like to work a fair amount and, 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 um, I, I, I should say I'm fortunate enough to work on a fair amount of things that people like, uh, which, yeah, or, or are popular, um, which is cool because when I go to cons, I get people from all walks of life coming up to me and, um, you know, uh, animated shows and video games that appeal to all types of people. So, um, yeah. so yeah, it's kind of for everything. So since uh, you're like 17, you started your career when you mm -hmm. were three. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. My parents, <laughs> My parents threw me in the booth, tickled me, had me giggle to use that for their their library of sounds. No, um, I uh, no, I started um, when I was eighteen, t taking acting classes and voiceover classes, and then um, professionally uh, when I was twenty one. And you, what made you want to start doing this? You were just you you knew the voices was a thing, or you were just like I. I could do theater. I mean, was it, was I was, it an on-stage thing that you imagined? I was a pre-med for four years um, in college, and uh, I hated it. I was about to drop out. And my parents were like, just change your major, you idiot. They didn't say that. Um, but uh, so I did, um, instead of dropping out, my almost my fourth year. Um, I was biology, then kinesiology, then back to biology. I was neuroscience, and then finally I was theater. So you're like you're like Mads Mott. Uh, no, no. I remember I never got the degree. Uh, I never. I was never Ew. able to do it. I was failing all my classes. Couldn't do it. Um, I did go to Berkeley for a semester. So when I do want to seem smart, I tell people I went to UC Berkeley. Uh, so. Um, yeah, that's um, that was my journey. I was telling my parents I wanted to be an actor when I was a small child. And my mom, who was an actress herself, was kind of like, sure, sure, honey. You know, um, because I don't think she had a great experience in the acting industry. And a lot of people don't. And um, like a like a less than stellar experience, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, it was um, something that... She, I guess she never really took seriously. They did tell me at some point that they would get me an agent if I like did like put myself out there, but I never wanted to like put myself out there. <laughs> so it never worked out for me when I was younger, but um, I gained some confidence when I, you know, got to college and yeah. So what was the first voice gig that you booked that you were like, holy cow, mine was a stupid McDonald's commercial that was exciting because of the paycheck. But it yeah. wasn't that much fun. Like, what was the one where you're like, oh, okay, I'm, 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 maybe I'm making it or maybe I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, uh, a stupid Ford commercial that I booked that was, <laughs> that was like, whoa, I'm doing it. And it was just, it was a, some local spot. Um, and I had to be the voice of the guy who was shown on screen. And I, I remember I had to say this one line. I had one line. It was like, you know, you're going places when you're already there. It was something stupid like that, right? Um, so- uh, I would I, buy that I, car. <laughs> and then I booked, um, I did ADR for Ultimate Spider-Man uh, for uh, the Rhino. Um, and uh, Daryl Sabara, who was playing the Rhino was out of town shooting a movie. And I stepped in to fill in a bunch of lines. And um, I thought I'd broken in. This is it, I broke into the industry, this is, Wow, I did it. All you places. Know. Yeah, with this one booking, I shall become an animation, you know, master. Uh, and uh, that that's not how, that's not what happened. But, but it can still be really exciting. Like the first cartoon that I actually got to record out here in LA, I thought, okay. And it didn't take, it took a while until I booked the next one. But like that first one, you're like, 
oh cool like i played a kid you know like totally it's cool. yeah no you're I, I i was it does not take away from yeah. just because i thought that like i would break into the industry after like every single booking that i had yeah yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> for, yeah. The, for the first maybe like 30 bookings you know yeah, for uh, sure. I, I i was like uh it, it doesn't take away from the excitement that i felt by being in the room i mean i was it, this has always been ever since i discovered voiceover you know that 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 was a career yeah this has always been my dream job so i was thinking about uh thundercats <laughs> yes yes and what's your story yeah uh well i did audition for your girlfriend character how do you say it in english my girlfriend character? Yeah. Oh, Ch Chitara, Chitara. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought okay. you were talking about a different character, yeah. Oh, okay. And then your character's name is? Lionel. What, uh, when when you got Lionel, were you super psyched because you had been a Thundercats fan or it was just like, oh, another cool gig? I was not, uh, no, because Thundercats air, I think it started airing in 1986 or 87 or 84. You weren't born <laughs> forgot. yet. Totally forgot. I wasn't born yet. And so the only Thundercats I watched were the reruns, um, which would have been like way after, like, you know, if I was like six years old or something. And um, so I never got into it, but, um, but I knew how important it was to, to yeah. some people. And um, my brother watched it. I have an older brother. He watched it. So, um, so I, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew all about the, the property and, and uh, so I was, yeah. yeah. I was excited. What's the one project that you've booked being a, like a super fanboy of, and then you're like, holy cow. Like I, I want, for me, I, it has to be a Disney project. Like I, I need to be on a Disney feature. Um, yeah, I, I was in, it sounds, it may sound silly because I was in the loop group. Uh, I didn't have like a standout voice, but just to be a part of uh, Incredibles 2 was really like, special for me because I love yeah. in the first Incredibles yeah. um, and, um, and, and yeah, that, that was, that was really cool. Oh, you know what too? Like I got to do a really, really cool crossover as lion for Teen Titans Go. They <gasps> threw lion in a, in a Teen Titans Go episode. And I, I love that. Ca I didn't get to record with the cast, but I love that cast. And um, I used to watch the original Teen Titans when I was younger so that was really cool. Are you a gamer? That was going to be one of my questions. Um, Have you I played the games that you voice in? I am a competitive gamer. So I'm not, I used to be an RPG guy. I used to love RPGs. Final Fantasy was my favorite game as a kid. Final Fantasy VIII. Um, but now uh, I like to play competitive uh, games where the, I know there's somebody on the other end who is angry that I <laughs> took them down. Uh, it gives me joy. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you, like, are, do you get nasty and aggressive and trolly? No, 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 I don't um, uh, <laughs> anymore. <laughs> what's, what's one of your, uh, like, when you book stuff, would you say that they're usually like lower pitched characters? Do you tend to play really young all the time? Uh, what, what's your go-to or is it just like across the board, all sorts of things? It's kind of across the board. Um, I, uh, uh, you know, it's funny. I used to, I, I have a, a naturally youthful sounding voice, although in conversation I can go deeper and I don't, you know, I can. I close I can, my eyes to just imagine something else. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then I can go very resonant and, and Ooh. right now you can buy 12 piece chicken McNuggets for $12.99. Uh, it's oh my pretty God. pricey, um, uh, but um, I book. I, I I would say I book all kinds of stuff, and and that's like, that's been like an absolute joy um, and a perk of of my job is like Ryuji is a teenager. Uh, um, what plag. does it sound like? Uh, Ryuji just kind of sounds like me, but angry all the time. And um, <laughs> Plag is um, is a little uh, a tiny little floating cat who loves cheese. And um, and then I just played the predator in Fortnite. So, and you know, he's what the predator from the movie who sounds like. Let's see, <clears throat> you probably can't hear it. I, I won't even try. Um, he he clicks and does all kinds of creature oh, sounds. Oh, 
oh, got it, got it, got it. That's craziness. What's your shorthand version of if someone's interested in, in voice acting, besides going to do you want to be a voice actor.com? How sure. If, if you're really, 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 really serious about it, you got to be really, 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 really serious about it. Like voice acting is not a hobby for me anyway. Like if you want to do that, if you want to do, it can be. If you want to do fan dubs, if you want to go on voices.com, voice one, two, three, and, and try your hand at, at certain jobs, like it can be a side job. Um, if you want it to be your main thing, I can only tell you what I know, which is that you have to treat it like it's your main thing. And every hour of the day, you have to spend trying to crack into the industry somehow. Um, for me, that was taking improv classes taking acting classes, taking voice acting classes, doing private lessons, doing casting director workshops, um, watching cartoons, uh, working on my voices, um, mimicking everything that I saw to create my arsenal of characters. I wanted this more than anything. So, um, yeah. You, have you, do you have, do you write down characters or is it just something that like, are you, are you down, nerdy about I would, it? I, I used to. So when I was starting out, that, that is what I would do. I would take notes, by the way, Anytime I had a private lesson with a with a with whoever, I would always take notes, always record the lesson, listen back to the lesson, and take and what look at my notes. And that is the best way to learn. I was very serious about it, and I treated it like it was. Um, I like ate, slept, and breathed voiceover. What that are some way. of your favorite impressions to do? Um, I'm not an impression guy. I, I, well, hey, I'm yeah, I've seen you do Christopher Walken. <laughs> well, I mean, that's everybody does Chris. Um, <laughs> that's of course that's that's a favorite of mine. Uh, Fine, but, if you're um, not an impressionist, but you mentioned it, so I thought maybe you you were. I'm I'm not really an impressionist. I, I, I'll do my best. They're not they're not great, but um, I have voice matched. Don't want to brag, but I have voiced, vo voice matched okay. both uh, James Franco and Dave Franco. Um, okay. for the deuce uh, or something for uh yeah it was for um a movie called why him and then i and then for james franco and then i did um dave franco in uh the magic movie and voice matching is not a thing that you also not a thing that i can do it's just like do i kind of sound like them <laughs> i'll go out for the audition and see those Dude, have I... all been surprises i i, yeah. I can never the voice matches i think i'm perfect for i never get the voice matches where i'm like I have no clue. I end up booking. One time I did Jason Sudeikis in a McDonald's Angry Birds commercial. And he, I, I played, you know, his, the ang the, he plays the red Angry Bird in the movie. And they were like, I sound nothing like Jason Sudeikis. Nothing. But he had like one line. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. I was about to pass Whatever. on the audition. And the line was like, oh, there's the door. Yeah. So I did it. And I booked it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, real quick. What's voice matching? The chat's asking. What's voice matching? Uh, it's if the celebrity isn't available for whatever reason, they're shooting a movie or they don't want to do it because it's too low budget or whatever, um, or they can't do it because it's what, for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, they're, they, they might be call, traveling on another gig. Yeah, they call on a voice actor who sounds like them to portray them in that thing. And that's called voice matching. What What are some of the things you'd like to share that uh, you can talk about that you're working on or your socials or invite them to watch Lava? Sure. Um, I, I don't have much. I know I'm doing a, um, a thing with uh, KupoCon for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, at yeah. Max Middleman, you can find it on my Twitter. Also, I'm doing a, a Miraculous Ladybug uh, thing in a couple of weeks. Did also get, on my Twitter. To record in the as a group for that, it's such a great cast. no, no, because uh, it's it's dubbed, it's dubbed oh, into right, English. Right, right, yeah, right, 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 yeah, right, right. it's a French French show. Um, so uh, yeah, not, nothing to plug. Loud, annoying. Follow us on on Twitch, and um, when we go to cons, uh, I can't wait. And, and what we'll cons see you at a con. Do you, you do you have any that you can already mention, or it's I think on? um, I uh, I don't know what's been announced. Um. I think Anime NYC maybe later this year. Has that been announced? I don't know. I'm breaking NDAs. Oh. Ah, yay. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get to Dragon Con and uh, uh, Salt Lake City in September because those were the ones that we missed uh, in 2020. Uh, well, Max, 
Thank you so much for joining us. Guys, you've been awesome. There were a lot of questions in the chat that were so strange that I just blew past because y'all were on your own little adventure. I think they were going off about lava and uh, Robbie always screaming out Annie's name and a bunch of stuff, but I chose to just, you know. <laughs> sure, sure, that. sure. Yeah, it's very specific to, to <laughs> yeah. our trio. Yeah, yeah. Um, but thank you so much uh, for joining Max and thank you guys for coming on. Keep booming and booping.